Mr. Wilson, you developed Jamaica Beach and Tiki Island in Galveston, Texas in 1957. Yes. Uh, when I went to work for Ari e. Bob Smith, my plan was to be, go into the oil business. And uh, <clears throat> he was going to send me to Snyder, Texas, where he had just started drilling in Scurry County, West Texas. By the way, he drilled 92 wells without hitting a dry hole. It was amazing. But anyway, uh, circumstances intervened and along the way he decided that the oil business was over for the independence. So he, one day he told me, he said, uh, these, these oil wells are costing thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 each to drill. Of course, now they're millions. And he said, uh, he said, the independent is just not going to be able to raise that kind of money. So I think you ought to go into the real estate business. So th that was a life-changing conversation for me because instead of going into the oil business, I ended up in the real estate business. Well, our first project was Jamaica Beach in Galveston. <clears throat> my partners were my brother Jack, later a Pentagon official, Johnny Goen uh, of Houston, later the Mayor Pro Tem of Houston for 22 years, city councilman, Jack Valenti, later president of the Motion Picture Association of America for 40 years, and Mr. Bill Sherrill. Bill was the was appointed to the Federal Reserve Board in Washington, D.C. He was a governor of the Federal Reserve Board. So a distinguished group, but with it, we were all partners when we started Jamaica Beach in Galveston. And in those days, nobody thought they needed a second home. So the first thing we had to do was to convince people that investing in a second home was a profitable enterprise and uh, something that they wanted to do. So sales at Jamaica Beach at first went very slow. We sold all of the important lots right on the Gulf of Mexico and then sales slumped. Uh, but finally, we got it going uh, when I decided that instead of being a, acting like a big shot, I had been a, uh, I had served in the executive office of the president previously. And uh, <clears throat> so I thought I was a big shot. So then when I finally realized that no, I wasn't a big shot, I was a lot salesman, that's when we started selling lots. <clears throat> 